Okay, welcome to Ostriv. Uh, today, a little bit different video uh, because we're going to start out with there's a update. Uh, I'm not sure if the update is actually downloaded yet. It's showing that it's up. The update is starting now, so we're going to get that started downloading, and we're going to take a look at what the update is about. It's major update alpha four patch seven. Let's see what we got. As we're working towards a huge future Alpha 5 release, a lot of time has, is spent there. But judging by previous feedback, I thought it would be better to give you at least some smaller patches while you wait for the big one. Here's what we've got so far. Added and changes. Okay, cool. They've added four new tree types, maple, apple, apricot and cherry that's cool uh, garden owning citizens will now be able to harvest their fruit okay so they'll be able instead of just honey and things like that they can harvest the fruit from trees added a centralized help window accessible through the button near the mini map okay so now we can uh, if you have a question about one of the things that you have in your village you can just click on it and learn a little bit more about it. That's a nice new feature. Added some status strings to mining camps where no reachable re deposits. Okay, a few minor optimizations. Okay, added five new crops to private gardens. Okay, so now we can do uh, garlic, horseradish, mar maro. I'm not sure. Peas and pumpkin. Uh, let's see, gardens will now be able to rotate some of their crops. Okay, so the gardeners will be able to, instead of just having the same thing like uh, always having lettuce, now they can do peas and, and pumpkins the next season. So that's, that's nice. Okay, uh, added previous repairs option for boatyard. Okay preventative okay so like if it's um, something is starting to wear they can work on it before it actually breaks down so you you don't go without it for longer periods of time that's nice okay added one more fence model okay these are pretty nice looking different kinds of fences uh, I think which one's the one I I kind of like this one and yeah, they all look pretty good but this would probably be the one I, I prefer or this one uh, this one looks too like modern kind of looking it would be more of once your village is at a, a more of a town level slightly reduced food consumption by children okay for children that's good obvious you know it's the child's act is going to eat a lot less than an adult okay added sounds for the sheep that's good new buildings okay cool this is this is nice uh, an orchard so now your citizens can harvest uh, the different fruits and probably sell them at those vendors so that'll be good giving your citizens more variety of food orchards can be customized during creation just as the houses with gardens okay that's nice so you can make them as big as you will well probably there's probably a limit to the size that you can make them but uh, you can make different sizes and I'm not sure but maybe we can even add uh, what kinds of fruit you want them to be uh, added water wheel sounds, okay. So for that uh, building that's in the river where it has a water wheel, so it's going to be now. So, okay, uh, can now grow barley on farm fields. Uh, that's nice. So an added uh, f f crop, which is probably going to use different nutrients. So, so that'll be good. So we can rotate different, more variety of crops. Slightly better performance for large towns and resource supply okay nice uh, draft animals will now die of old age okay that's nice well unless you don't want them to die because of old age there, there may be a setting to be able to turn that on or off I'm not really sure about that I have to look deeper into it uh, let's see added new map features and infinite limestone deposits okay uh, you can now export apples uh, reduce camera speed when zooming in. Okay, that's that'll be good because 
sometimes you zoom in, it's like, well, boom, all of a sudden you're there. Um, it, it give more better effect. Okay, a few more optimizations for big towns. Okay, and then we got some fixes and a couple other things going on here. So, okay, well, it's nice to see another update. I'm excited to see this up. The Alpha 5 release will be really cool. Okay, here's some a little bit of the play for the Alpha 4 patch 7. Take a look at, oh, okay, let's see. They said the zoom in a little bit slower, which I guess I'm not really seeing it. <laughs> but you can imagine what it was before they changed it. Uh, let's see, I want to, let's take a look at the okay, houses production. This is where, okay, here we got the orchards. This is one of the the things that we've got new and I want to do like a customization let's see where do we want to put this let's place it we'll place it right over here at the back side see F1 customization okay let's see. I'm gonna click on the corner we'll click on it and expand it too long okay oh there's the entrance okay they've got the arrow pointing at it right there so too long let's see uh, it looks like it's about the that's about the length I want to try to make it look kind of squared off things are kind of lopsided it looks like we're gonna put the house at the back corner yeah we'll check that okay and now they'll start building out. What have I got building here? Another fishing dock. Let's move the orchard to the front of the list because we want to see what it looks like. And they will build their own roads. Which let's do a second, a second orchard going here, and we want to rotate it. F1. Bear to me. There we go. Okay, that should be pretty good. Okay, let's speed up time real quick here. We're still at 20. Twenty-six thousand dollars in debt. <laughs> oh, good, we got the orchard. Now the let's see what. It, okay, we have to get workers in there. Not select. Okay, so we can pick. Let's uh, do an apple orchard. And now the time frame. So it should take a few seasons to get the trees big enough to start harvesting. I would think, unless they. Yeah, okay. So we'll do apples here, and once this one's done, we will do cherries in this one. Let's take a look through these other lists real quick and see if there's anything else that catches our eye as new. Oh yeah, the fences, the different fences. See, what's this one look like? Oops. <laughs> let's get a closer look at it, if we can. Huh, seems to be as low as I can get. That's one of them. Okay, you can connect. What's this one? Oh yeah, that's the one I like. Kind of looks more rustic. Yeah, this is that more modern looking. I like how it connects. I'm not sure if I like that. That would be more for like if you for a horse tie up or something. Yeah, this is more like the white picket fence if you're a modern house. This is more of a medieval kind. That's why I kind of like this one. It's more of a rustic small town. Okay, let's get these going. A couple people in here for... and let's do cherries. You're pretty quick on planting. That's good. And now do we need to keep two people in there? It is October, so stuff is starting to wind down. Let's take a look at these and see if there's now fruit available to be... Uh, let's see, clothing. Yep, apples, apricots, cherries. Okay, good. So we will be able to gather more fruits and vegetables, more fruits for the, the people to buy at those stands now. So that's good. Okay, well, that's basically what we're jumping in here to do. Let's, oh, where's the water wheel? Let's see if we can hear the, I know I have one. Don't I have the building with the water wheel? Oh, it's right here, but it's not in operation right now. Yeah, so this is probably the one that has the sounds when there's, something going on but right now we don't have don't have anything going on with it so 
Okay, we have, oh, yep, they're moving the cows in. It's getting later in the season, so they're moving the cows off the pasture. Well, this will be fun to watch the, watch the orchards, watch the trees grow. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoy the series. I don't do videos on it very often, but give me a like and a comment down below if you're enjoying the series, and I might get into more episodes if I get some good response on it. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlist and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.